Hello, fabulous Falcons. It's Miss Dykes here. And if you don't know me, what you will learn about me very shortly is that I love to organize and color code my Falcon Planner. Y'all got one of these at registration. And even though we are going to be on Canvas while we learn virtually, it is still really important that you know how to use your Falcon Planner in order to manage your time and use it efficiently. Before we get into how to translate your Canvas calendar of assignments into your Falcon Planner, I'm gonna show you how to set it up so that it is better organized for our Falcon um, schedule. So, let me share my screen here. We love our Falcon Planner. It has so many amazing features. Um, however, it just isn't quite organized in a way that optimizes our space and um, lends itself to our even odd schedule. So I just opened up to a week here, um, just as an example, to show you what the steps are in setting up your week so that you are really utilizing your planner in the best way possible. So we have an even odd schedule, and I don't know about you guys, but every day I'm wondering, is it odd or is it even? I'm not sure. So the first thing you want to do is in your Falcon Planner, at the top here, you see there's like a little space um, that says day. It's a little small for me, so I like to write it nice and big, but we're going to pretend we're starting on an odd day, even, odd, even, odd. That way, it's nice and big, and you know exactly which day it is when you're sitting in class. The next thing you want to do is pick two colors. One color, I'm going to pick blue for falcons for odd days. And one color, I'm going orange, is for even days. Now, the first thing you are going to do is ignore the um, classes written down on the side here. And you're going to take your highlighter and you're just going to create from at the bottom where it says materials to bring home. You're going to start your highlighter there and go all the way up vertically up the um, column there. You're going to do the same thing between Monday and Tuesday. Sorry for all you perfectionists out there. My lines are a little squiggly. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add horizontal lines that um, help us optimize the space here to write down reminders and homework for classes. So at the top here, you're gonna kinda use these two boxes and you're gonna make a horizontal line on that second bolded line. You're gonna do the same thing, skip this one, make another horizontal line. It gets a little weird at the bottom, but you can just put another line right there. Skip one, you have a couple of extra boxes there. You're gonna repeat the same thing in your other color for your even day. So all the way up vertically, in between Tuesday and Wednesday, and then across from the top, second line, skip a line, skip a line. That is how you're gonna set it up. Okay, so at this point, you have color-coded your odd and even days. I know it seems a little cumbersome at first, um, but pretty soon you'll be able to do it in your sleep. Um, I recommend setting up about two weeks at a time, okay? I don't recommend doing the whole entire school year because you are bound to miss a school holiday or something along those lines, and then your odd even schedule or notes are gonna be all off for the rest of the year. So I recommend setting up about a week or two at a time. Um, make sure you set some planner time aside. Um, maybe Monday mornings in Falcon Connections, your teachers may give you some time there. If not, during a break, or um, what I like to do is Sunday nights, I sit down with my planner and I look at my whole week and I really manage my time and make that all happen. So we have the colors set up and we've manipulated the boxes so that we have a little bit more room and it fits our Falcon schedule a little bit better. Now this year, we have three different bell schedules. So this top box here um, is gonna be used for reminders. So on Mondays and Thursdays, we have Falcon Connections. You can write that here 
Maybe your um, teachers have you bring a book or maybe they're show and tell or, um, whoops, Falcon Connections. Whatever it may be, you could write those reminders here, but also by having it at the top of your planner, you're gonna remember, oh, today's a Falcon Connections day. Tuesday, we have late start. Sleep in. Don't forget. All right. And then on Wednesdays and Fridays, we have office hours. Now they're in the afternoon, but again, this top box is for reminders. So you're gonna write office hours up here on Wednesdays and Fridays. And what you can do is if a teacher asks you to attend office hours, or if you schedule office hours with a teacher, you can write it down when you're going so that you don't double book yourself. So for example, um, Monday in science class, I was really not quite sure of the new concept we learned. So I reached out to Ms. Smaggots and I said, hey, can we meet? And she said, sure, let's one o'clock on Wednesday. We're gonna hold office hours. I'm gonna write with Ms. Smaggots here. Um, that way I know that if another teacher um, says, you know, hey, we're gonna do um, essay support with Ms. Frilla Belts during this time, it's at one o'clock, you know you can't attend that essay support because you already have a meeting with Ms. Smaggins, okay? So that top box there is for A, remembering what day it is, um, whether it's odd or even, and what bell schedule we're following that day. Then, um, we're going to ignore the words on the side here, and we are going to write down our own personal schedule. So this is going to be period one, this is period three, and this is period seven. Now, some of us, that's enough, but it really helps if you write out the subject and the schedule that you have, especially with virtual learning it's gonna be a little bit easier to get mixed up. You're physically in the same place, but virtually trying to make sure you're managing different meetings and sessions. So you're gonna to wanna to write out what class you have, period one. I have science, and then I go to PE, and I end my day in social studies. Then on even days, I have, I start my morning with my elective class, whatever that may be. Um, and then I go to English and I finish my day in math. So you want to label each of these boxes by the class that you're in so that you are writing homework down in the order of which A, it's assigned and B, it's probably due. For example, you're going to want to work on your science homework before you do your social studies homework because it's due earlier in the day. Now, I know the burning comment in all of your minds is, but Ms. Dykes, if everything's on Canvas, my calendar will tell me when things are due. But that's exactly why you need to use your Falcon Planner. On Canvas, it only tells you the due date. So for example, if, what's happening here? <laughs> share screen, calendar, share, it's not, oh, there it is. Sorry about that. So for example, this assignment is all about me. Um, I had class on Monday with this teacher and they explained the directions, they showed me the rubric, they showed examples, but it's not due today, it's not due Wednesday, it's due Friday. On your Canvas calendar, it's only gonna show up on Friday. So if you're looking at Monday, you're like, sweet, no homework. Okay, no independent work that I need to get done. But that's not the case. Your teacher's probably giving you extended time so that you can do your best quality work. So the best way to do this is to use the week view when setting up your planner to view what's going on that week. Okay, you can write the time that your class starts in Zoom. And then you're really gonna wanna scroll all the way to the bottom, because what Canvas does is it defaults to 11.59 p.m. for all assignments, and I don't know about other teachers, but I usually don't change it. So, going down all the way to the bottom, I see I have All About Me slide due on Friday. So, you're gonna look at your planner, and I have 
something due that day, which is my all about me slide. All about me, I'm just gonna call it that. But that's the day it's due. So what you're gonna wanna do is work backwards and write it down as homework every other day that week. So all about me, and all about me. I draw a square here as a checkbox. So when I finish that assignment, I can check it off. And if I finish it Monday, great. Check it off on Wednesday too. And then you know that you are ready for class on Friday to upload that assignment. It's important to be using this because your Canvas calendar is only going to show due dates. And if you have a long-term assignment or quiz in two weeks, you're going to want to make sure that you're breaking down your assignments into smaller chunks to work on every single day. And your Falcon Planner is the place to do that.